Hey, people in the world, how you guys doing today? I am, I'm live. Well, yes, of course I'm live. That's why you're here right now. If not, well, maybe you're coming in late and you're not catching this live. But damn, we're going to hang out today with my man, Chris Ross. So Chris Ross is, uh, is a good dude. And Chris Ross has joined me on my podcast. When he gets in here, we're going to have this man join. Because today it's not going to be me. It's going to be my man, Chris Ross, as well. And uh, and we're going to have a quick little chat about man life. I'm going to get this man in here real quick. Here we uh Chris Ross to join. So Chris can come. Chris Ross, that's like a name that flows off your tongue. Look at that. It just sound, doesn't it sound good? It just sounds good. What's up, man? What up? What's up? Are Nothing you back much. home, huh? I'm back I'm home, back bro. Home. I even got a shave. Look at this. I even shaved my what? face. What? Look at this guy. What? Dude, I don't know. My wife, she made some complaints. She's like, I, I don't like your face with <laughs> the beard. She's for the last few weeks. I cut mine down, like, bro. Mine was down in here. I see it. Mine got down in here, but then I cut it down. I'm about to cut it off, I think. It's See, summertime, I can't, so. I can't but again, grow a beard like that. It's London. So Mel, Mel's in here. Yeah, London's All nice. Right. You can grow a beard. I can't grow a beard like that. I, I can get, like, I get this I get this face sweater that looks like a, like a, just a, like a bear's face. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't hang. <laughs> look, so, look at Teddy Bear. Look at this Teddy Bear with his tight, <laughs> Teddy Bears with his tight sweaters. Dude, it's bad. <laughs> it is, it is bad. Uh, I don't know why. And yeah. someday, maybe someday I'll, I'll be able to, like, grow it long. But like I can, man. It right. just it starts like it starts like like curl up over everything. So like I guess it seriously just goes like this. I could probably like grow like a, yeah. just two sides it's, of the afros. You gotta train it. You gotta train it. Like mine used to do like the Sylvester the cat thing. Yeah. Like come out this way. Yeah. I was yeah, like yeah. I don't know what I was doing, but it, it's <laughs> over time, I guess. But I, I, I mean, because you know I don't have any hair on my head, so it kind of it evens it out. There you go. It makes it makes. <laughs> but it, but it looks good, man. Looks good. I'm That's trying. Good. I look like a little baby girl again. Yeah. Like my, I don't know. Yeah, hey, if I shave, I tell my wife all the time. If I shaved all of this, I'd look like I was like in my twenties. I got some. Yeah, I, I can't I do this it. Weird yeah. baby face. <laughs> you can't do it. I look up, like mini me. Hey, some people like when they when they rock beards for too long and shave them, they legit look funny when they shave it off. Like I've seen guys that they shave their beard like they have no chin. <laughs> it's like no, put the beard back uh, on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I actually, I, I, mean, I actually do have a chin, so I, I could. Thank God I got you know God willing I get good um, jeans right so we're good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, got, I, I like it. I, like I have it. a chin so we're good. There you so go. You Winning. I'm great, man. I'm uh, I'm hanging out with you today because you're on the podcast, my dude. Right. Yeah. And the yeah. thing is, I'm people blessed, people, man. people have uh, they, 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 this is a podcast all the time, and there's a lot of podcasts that are good podcasts. We had a good one, man. And if you guys haven't tuned in, you got to go uh, go to our shift uh, podcast, and I'll probably get the link up here in a second. Um, I am gonna put the link up here right now but anyways hey you guys we had a we had a cool chat with chris chris has got this amazing heart for what he does in the world and and you can listen to podcasts and find out more while we're here right now I man share with the people kind of who you are we're not going to read the podcast but what you do because the purpose for this time today right. is to share some snippets and thoughts have a conversation and direct people to listen to your podcast man so who are you what do you do right. Right. Well, thank you for, I appreciate having you on all the pe people popping in and showing love. I really appreciate it. Um, even, I think Carolyn's even on my executive assistant. She's been with me about five uh -oh. years. Nice. What's up, Carolyn? Hey, What's Carolyn. Up, Carolyn? All right, Get it, stuff. girl. Yeah. Well, I'm Christian. You know, obviously, you know, we've had a couple different conversations. I mean, we've had, I don't know, just like a bunch since um, yeah. even the podcast, even before po podcast, you came on ours, blew it up. I think I probably over, I think it was close to, it's close to, I think, 60, 67,000 downloads within the nice. first week of your episode dropping, which I was extremely grateful for. I mean, it served the audience really well. Yeah. Um, but, what you know, definitely have, the reason why I reached out to you, but originally was to have you on coming ours because the first couple of seasons of the Wouldn't Win Effect podcast, it was, you know, it's all about developing enough emotional intelligence to be able to understand the, the psychology behind what makes people move and motivate them in the right way and doing things the moral and ethical way for your listeners yeah. and for the audience that you have right now. Um, just a little bit more in depth about me. I'm prior military, come from Charleston, South Carolina, went to after Navy, um, learned a lot of leadership traits. Um, actually did, definitely gave me my core values was I live and die by now, still today. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And then went to you know, college and then went, went into education sales. So I come from a different type of sale. Um, you know, when people say sales, they're like, ah, you know, they freak out, right? So yeah, they do. Everybody I, still does. I learned a learned a certain way a methodology I learned over the years of developing enough emotional intelligence, especially enough understanding on both sides of the buyer seller relationship and what they go through, mm -hmm. putting yourself in their perspective. And that really made an impact, and especially with an education background, qualifying the right type of buyer, that's everything. So I feel that the be I feel that I'm light years ahead of the sales marketplace today in the era 
because yeah. I've done it for so long prior. As I take it away from the student or take it away from me doing it now, I have my own companies, you know, corporation, me, yeah. I'm very blessed. But training, why, like, co corporations. so many people works. are, like, against sales? Like, you, you're in this realm. I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off, but, like, I think there's no, this fine. question that I'd love to, to have you dig into. There are a lot of people who are deathly, clients of mine, deathly afraid of doing the sales thing, like, saying, hey, pay me for this, or how do I do the, uh, you know, how do I, how do I learn the skill set? Why do you think it's so difficult for people to, to get sales figured out? Thanks, Tom B. Harrington. Time. 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 It takes the time to develop that type of skill set and of understanding. You want the best for that person. It's, you know, people say sometimes you can monetize anything and automate anything in sales, trying to automate sales because they don't enjoy sales. So perfect example, they'll send text messages. Yeah. You can't motivate yeah. people through a text. You can, no. you can, you can communicate through a text, but you can take it out of context, right? So you, yeah. you're going to miss, you're gonna miss an opportunity. Um, you're gonna miss it. You're gonna miss a huge opportunity if you put yourself in the buyer's perspective right from the beginning. Like, like Anthony, the reason for my call, I didn't mean to catch you off guard, but you just enrolled. You just requested information. We'll get into all that later. What I'm really curious about is what actually motivated you to request this information. What was going on in your world? That's a completely different type of approach than someone trying to jam a product and service down someone's throat, right? So, True. and I think that's why people are shy away from sales and they don't want to do that as us as entrepreneurs now you know i'm just when people ask me I'm like what do you do for a living i'm like change lives so what do i do for a living change lives that's always my changing their life because they, i'm willing to do what it yeah. takes to break through their emotional barriers to the core nucleus of the problem and then i'm able to make an impact with them that's why they don't want to they want to automate it they want to monetize their, their whole system Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just what I do for come. I come in and align my process and they don't want to, they're not open to, they're open to anything because they don't want to do it. That's just yeah. a huge so, opportunity for myself and the companies that I do own. So yeah, which is nice. That makes sense. There's a fear because this is in people's, uh, Vino says people fear the label that comes with sales. I heard some of the day say on, on a, a meeting I was in, it's like a bigger level meeting. I got, you know, I'm in some interesting groups and the guy's like, even at the higher level making, he's like, you know, I just, you know, I've never been a sales guy. I don't like that. I just kind of feel icky when I do it. And I was like, wow, like that's a, that's a lot of people that feel icky. Now is the icky right. thing, like how, how do you get past the icky feeling? How do you get past the feeling of that, that negative label when, when you put the time in? How do you, you gotta push get, past you, it? You got to develop your own, you got to develop your own system within your approach. I mean, I, I'm a hundred, I'm a hundred in my personal life. Yeah. See, we have a lot of conversations. I'm the same dude you're talking to right now that you'll see me at Starbucks or a grocery store, right? And yeah. being 100% authentic comes within and that and you, how you're able to make an impact with people is them seeing you as a normal, another man, just like me, mm -hmm. right? Just yeah. different body, right? Different vehicle, different heart, different soul. But you, when you align those souls and you're actually breaking through and having a normal conversation with people, it really goes a long way. Mm -hmm. um, Cause you're doing all the things that normal salespeople wouldn't do because they don't have the time available to put in and to honing in on a craft and developing their skill set. So the yeah, whole stigma true. of sales, like I've never got into that because I've never, I never really wanted to read off a script or do that type of way. Cause I did education sales. I think it was the best thing that ever happened to me because I was forced to qualify yeah. that, that student to make sure they went through the program. They went to a trade school, whatever it was. And once I saw one, that first person that graduated, and made an impact mm -hmm. in their life. I was like, this is my calling. This is what I got to do for a living. This is, this yeah. is what I need to do. I yeah. loved it, man. Ever since then. That makes sense. And it's a thing that I, we're obviously I had no idea the conversation was going here, but I'm like, we didn't even unpack a lot of the sales stuff in our podcast, but that's one of the things no. that a lot of people yeah. can help with. Cause there's a guy. He has some really good you know, questions. He has yeah, some really good great questions. questions. You guys got to get in there and tune into the podcast, man. Go to the uh, shift, dot com, aww shift.com and check the podcast out. Um, so what are you excited about now, man? Like genuinely, like today, it's what, Thursday? It's, it's still Thursday where you're at in the evening in the UK. You guys yeah, are in London. Yeah. What, what's yeah, exciting you this morning, this daytime? Well, it's actually afternoon. It's 6, what, 6, 10 minutes. Oh, it's evening. In the it's, 10 evening. it's 10 a.m. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it's evening. Yeah, it's evening. Everything excites me. Life excites me. I mean, I, I'm motivated by, you know, the things that, you know, we have going on. We have a, just, we're very blessed. We're putting in the right situations of, you know, and lining our processes with co with companies, corporations, we're you know increasing their revenue you know by about four hundred percent in the first quarter, nice. which is crazy right. for them. Um, they're Anybody. now that now they start seeing results and they're open to anything, right? 
But first, yeah. you got to prove the results. And that's what my sales teams and, you know, my companies, they put that in there. So the company is called Winjet. That's actually where we're launching. Um, mm -hmm. It's already, we've already been in contracts. We've already been doing it. It's just that when I finished, I stepped down from my CEO role in my last company that I, you know, obviously own. I still was founder for, but I went to the chairman mm -hmm. role. And they're actually launching that in January 2001, mm -hmm. uh, 2021. Goodness gracious. Yeah, years later. To say, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> in the future, 2021, bro. It's, still, it's still weird to me that it's 2020. You see what I'm saying? It's like, I feel like I lost yeah. 20 years somewhere. It's, but but yeah, so I stepped away from that role. I stepped down and I went to just, right. I went to Winject is the company. So what we're doing is we're injecting winning mentality companies and corporations, especially in the city. I'm like spinning on my side. Or is that you? Yeah, yeah, you're spinning. You're spinning I'm on spinning. my side too. Disco ball. Okay. I got you. Yeah, so um, got you now. What? Well, yeah, so what company is called Winject Incorporated. What mm -hmm. we do is we inject a winning mentality within a sales organization, their sales divisions. So we have seven contracts now, co-founding mm -hmm. that with Wes. You're spinning on your side now. I don't know if it's on my yeah, Wi-Fi. I hear you. I got fiber, so I don't even know what's going on. I, I got. I don't have fiber. I got fast though. Hopefully, it's, it's just Instagram doesn't want to have all this good juju right. out of the world. I don't know. Possibly, possibly, <laughs> possibly. So, but yeah. So that's what we do, man. But well, I mean, what excites me is just the impact we're making with people and changing the way that their customers of their experiences. I mean, yeah. I was just on a call today, and I know that my executive assistant popped on here. It was really cool, Carolyn. I was only, only scheduled to be on a call for thirty minutes and went over about an hour. So that probably mm. tells you, you know, that's, I'm always plugged into that energy, energy source because that's where yeah. I get my energy from is them. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's just, a, it's amazing, man. We're just blessed. It's so much fun what we do. It's like, we don't have to do what yeah. we do. We get to do what we do. But yeah. same way for you. What's it, what's been up with you new? I got into oh. my old stomping grounds. Yeah, yeah right? I was. Old I was stomping grounds. in Texas. I was riding scooters right. around in, in the middle of the night, like 12 o'clock, <laughs> man. Right. Was, it was fun. I had a good time. My wife and I finally got away with like no kids. I was telling her, that, I was like, mm -hmm. I want to just go with no kids because we always, not that I don't I love my kids, but mm -hmm. we go the last, what, four years, every vacation with them. And I'm like, man, I want to go and not do anything. So I showed up. I didn't have a car. Someone else was driving. I didn't have any work to do. I had no meetings. I, it was just me and the wife, bro. I, I drank more beer in, in like two days than I've drank all year. Uh, I didn't, I just, and I wake up for some reason. Long, please tell me alcohol, a long star. Please. Oh, we were having beers all over. I was having Russian stuff. I'm a stout beer. I'm a dark beer guy, man. So it'll have like 10 or 11 percent alcohol in it. It was, it was, uh, <laughs> it was good. Like I said, fun. And I'm like a chill guy. When I get drunk, I kind of sit back and smile. I don't, I don't get loud or obnoxious in <laughs> it. Right. I just hang out. Right. And so slept well. Uh, and then we got back, man. And I'm, I, I cleaned up the entire studio. I'm doing a whole new backdrop. I got like neon signs oh, wow. coming. In. I'm doing some, some. It's just gonna be. I want to slicken up the entire it's feel like, of my, my studio. Like you seen that one stand up with Kevin Hart and it was like, it was like, I think it was about 2013. He was like, you see my fire? You see my fire? Yeah. Like the, was, get like, fire, these like, bitches. Yeah. I saw that line. I saw Yeah, the, o two, the O2s, I don't even know if you've seen it. The O2s right outside my window. Here, I'll show you. So the O2s right there. Can anyone, I don't know if you can see it. I see a big building. Yeah, yeah I see a building. Big building, but do you see this? The, um, the gold okay yeah you see the uh, post behind it the like, little antenna look at things yeah 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 I see those you see it yeah okay yeah Not so the that's the O2 it. and I was scheduled I was scheduled to I was in Charleston at the time mm -hmm. and I was going through like the process of you know visa and all that good stuff sorry I'm looking at my, my thing but yes I was going through the visa process I had front row seats to see his last one live. He filmed it here. And the one that was on Netflix, he filmed it here. And I was like, man, I still think about it. I like, man, yeah. I wanted to go so bad. But it's all yeah. good. But yeah, you it's just good. get some fire in your office. Get some fire. Yeah. <laughs> I might. I got, I, got like, I got like three sets. I got neon signs and I got two sets of neon lights. I got textured back. I got some, it's going to be fresh. I'm going to drop it. Just, I'm going to do it all one weekend and then come the next week and just, psh, oh. what happened to his back? No one's gonna care but me, but obviously, um, you know, it's funny is that 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 stand up that was the one where he was, I think he came out and he was talking. There was either that one, remember the one where he was talking about? Yeah, it was that was that one where he was talking about like his ex wife, what went wrong, and how I messed up. He's like, I, I messed up. Let, let me tell you why. Like, mm -hmm. he's, so that was interesting because that okay, actual yeah. one I went to with my ex wife, and it wasn't we weren't together. We we're even oh, trying wow. to be together. 
but we just, it was like, I think I had bought a ticket or someone bought a ticket and it was like, we were divorced at the time. We weren't even in good terms. It's like, Hey, I got no one else to go. We bought, I bought this. You want to go like, whatever, I'll go. Like, I don't like you, but I'm going to go watch. Mm -hmm. And he talks the whole time about how like he cheated on his wife and they were divorced. It's like, so we're sitting right. here the whole time, like laughing, but like, this is really Clinton hitting close to home the entire time. Yeah. Yeah. Tom Harrington, yes, he it, does. It's Kevin funny how that, he's, he's legit. Yeah, it's funny how he said Tom wrote in his things, he does a lot of like future pacing and, and loop backs. That's, and actually, Tom, just to let you know, that's where I learned indirectly on how to future pace and do loop backs. Was from, I love stand up comedy. I've watched stand up comedy since I was a kid. Yeah. Love stand up. And who's the, who's the master at it? is um david chappelle that's the master Ma yeah master you forget that he's even it, but, going in a but, it's kind of, but it's funny yeah he has no idea so i don't think he knows where he's going to go with it until he gets on stage he just has an idea maybe in his mind what he wants to talk about but he, he feeds it off the audience yeah. you understand him yeah and like he'll pull things out and then because you, you can see some coming but then with dave it's like he'll say something just go off and it'll be like five, ten minutes later, and he'll loop it back and like, holy, wow. Like, I didn't even see that. And then just hits it. Yeah, he's, I saw him live one time uh, in Oregon when it was actually before he took off for his whole hiatus. He came up to Oregon right. where I was still going to college and did a live. Dude, he was, I went by myself because my wife didn't like stand-up back then. But I'm the same, man. I, I watch dry bar. Facebook knows what I like. So I'm always getting dry bar comedy and Comedy Central in yeah. my feed. And I just, I'll <laughs> yeah, sit yeah. in bed and watch these people. Same. I have no idea who they are. And it's hilarious, man. Um, that guy, he's a guy, that white dude from Kevin Hart movie. That, what's his name? Gary, is it Greg or Gary? Gary what? Owen. He, Gary Owen. Gary Owens. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yes. Gary Owens. Yeah, guy, yeah. I, get, I get his on my feed all the time. He's just, Funny dude, man. He's, he's funny a real funny dude. dude. It's funny. It's a guy that I know. He, so he works out here. So I'm in Wanna Creek. He works out with a guy that I know out in Antioch. Uh, mm. Yeah, yeah. It's just interesting cat, man. But it's a, it's a lot. That used to be on BT back in the day. When I was like stay, like mm. late night, I'm, I'm go, time to go to bed. I'd sit there and watch BT, um, the late at night version, just watch these cats go on. I've been watching this. I didn't realize I've been watching stand-up for years. I love it. It's like the best way for my brain to decompress after a hard day. Um, yes. So, so hey, I'm, I'm realizing we're going off tangent, which is the whole purpose of this today, which is to kind of have a quick chat, see what's going <laughs> that's, on with everybody's That's life. what we do anyway. Um, like, we but that's you guys. Somebody asked, what are we here yeah, talking about? Chris Kevin the Osh Shift podcast this week. Uh, yeah. Just go up. Just ding, ding, ding. Uh, but he came on the podcast. So go to Oshift.com. Check out the podcast. Uh, this man has, has got a lot of stuff in, in his heart and his brain. His, his realm of expertise is high level sales. And I'm not talking, he's one of the, you're like one of the ghost guys that people don't realize run this world, right? There's a lot of people in the background that people don't realize are the guys, you know, making connections, doing things that are bolstered. And just because you're not having like showing your Bentley on social media, it doesn't mean you ain't successful. Yeah, I don't, yeah I'm very uh, private. Yeah, I'm very private. It's not going to happen. But um, yeah. I mean, I, I will flash a rolly in someone's face just because they're being a jerk. But other hey. than that, we're good. But yeah. I yeah, do it sometimes. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, yeah you got to let them know. Hey, you got to let them know sometimes. You know, what's funny is uh, <laughs> I, I think that's kind of the cool parts about life for me. Like I'm a low key guy. I'm sit I'm wearing like shorts that like yeah. somebody gave me from a speech and like this. Right. This is what I do all day long. And there's people that like I go out in public and, and like they'll just see me and then some weird interaction will take place. It'll they'll do something and then like I'll start speaking or I'll like I'll interact yeah. and it's like you can immediately sense like who who is this dude right so, here? Yeah, it's a vibration. It's, it's not about difference. the outer layers, a vibration. It's the vibration it's how, you're yeah. putting out. Exactly, and they'll feel it. It's like, it's like I, I like to be the guy that nobody expects to be the guy. That's, I don't mm. know if that makes sense. It's just a different, yeah. and I'm not better than anybody. It's not like I'm just, just hey, Angie Lee. But I like to, uh, you know Angie Lee? She's dope. If you guys don't follow no, Angie Lee, I don't, like, I don't, we don't think we ever met. How you doing, Angie Lee? You guys got to connect. First off, Angie Lee's got an amazing podcast. Uh, Chris has an amazing podcast, Angie. And Angie is a human that I've recently connected with. And, and it's before we even connected, I, was just, I used to follow her social media. And I was telling her, there's certain people you're just drawn to because they're just them online. They just, yes. this is just, right. and this person is one of the people that is on social media. And it, you see it's like transparent, everything she does. And it, it's cool if anybody gets a chance to check her out. You guys got to connect. I'm going to do an IG message That's after cool. this because you guys definitely. Yeah, definitely know, reach out. Gun. Definitely. I'll do that for sure. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what I was definitely. talking about. But just definitely. have different, yeah, different vibration, man. When you, when you know who somebody is, that, that's uh, it's a different offsetting. The world needs more people that are coming out and doing their thing. Thank you, Angie. I appreciate you guys. Uh, so I, I don't have much more unless you want to keep rapping. I, I think people need to go check no, out I mean, the podcast. I, mean, I can go. It's, like, it's, kind of, it's kind of one of those things, man. I, got, I can go forever having a conversation with you, you know? So um, it's, yeah. been a minute, it's been a hot minute since. It's actually the longest time that we've actually spoke. We've other than text and, and whatnot. But 
Um, yeah, they just want everyone to understand, uh, the, you know, the podcast that I have. <laughs> That's a good song. We start singing. I can't sing for anything. You got you start singing with that baby face, nice little fresh cut you got. You gonna have <laughs> yeah, we kiss his face. Yo, uh, was, one of the good ones, is Kevin Hart. Does it going to be R and B to do this? Yeah, yeah, does it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, That's just funny, do. man. Yeah, he's got. I think he's got another tour coming. Does he got another tour? I think. But yeah, um, just for um the people before we go, we we can go in forever having conversations. But yeah. the the uh, podcast that I have is the Win Win Effect. Um, the first two seasons were. Just myself and uh, co-host Wes Bass. He's a co-founder of Winject um, with myself, managing partner. Um, we're going in companies. But the win-win effect, the first two seasons were just him and I kind of like getting the knowledge out of my brain and getting mm -hmm. into, I guess, on audio. And because it can, sometimes you don't realize how much it comes into when you're trying to hit the right emotions and asking questions with the framing and then leading and then understanding, okay, hey, now they're very vulnerable with me. And I got to the core and the root of the problem. Now I'm, I'm comfortable enough and I'm skilled enough and I've done it for so long that I'm able to do it with ease where they're the most vulnerable because that's where a lot of the sellers or a lot of people out there in the world, they just want to make the sale. Well, I yeah. want to help them. I want to make an impact and help remove and re-anchor that emotion, tie a positive one to it so they can do this without me after they go through the program or whatever it is now, right? So that's yeah. what the first two seasons were. Now we're interviewing some big names. We got, we, of course, I had you on. We, um, Belinda Agnew, come on. She has, she's just like killing freaking recruitment and tech in Australia. She, we had um, Jess Leah just interviewed a, a country singer. She was on The Voice. Mm -hmm. We got some, we just got some really cool ones lined up, man. Like really cool nice. ones lined up. So nice. if you anybody- wanna, You want to drop a link in here? Drop your link in there, bottom man. I'll, I'll, yeah, I mean, I drop it. And it's it's legit. It's the dope podcast. I think that's the thing. Is, I, I'm not saying yeah, mine's not dope, you go to, but it's a dope podcast. Yeah. No, nah, it's great, man. I, your questions, I actually said this the other day to somebody that- I've been on a lot of, of course, you know, with me kind of coming behind the scenes now for the last like nine months, yeah. like me kind of coming behind that curtain, be like, boom, it's me. I'm the one pulling the strings, right? For what it was just trade schools. And I was like, well, I threw my hat in a ring. It was just like, I think they got what I got. So I'm going to throw my hat in a ring and see what's up. So we'll test mm -hmm. the waters. Um, when I started doing that, people started reaching out a lot more and kind of, you know, and it's just showing much love. It's just, it's very humbling experience, mm -hmm. but they can find uh, the win win effect, win win effect, one word on Instagram. My spinning again. I don't know if it's. You are you spinning or me speaking? Okay. Uh, my Instagram is Chris Ross, one word. Obviously, you're seeing me right now. And the win win effect. So, win West Bay is one word as well. W E Z, W E S B A I Z. So, but yeah, we, we love body on. We're always taking guests. Carolyn's actually there. She'll probably get you booked in right now. Training for the future one. I'm back now. This would suck if it's my screwed. internet because I'm full of everything. I'm not even... Anyway. No. I just said I'm full of my... I got like all the way up. But I did have yeah. the power go out in the building like flash in the middle of a meeting today, which I think they're doing some work on the up, on the upper level. Maybe. Yeah. But there's only two floors up, so I don't know. Uh, it's weird. Hey, Carolyn said it. Go, Carolyn. She's dope. Go, Carolyn. Yeah, there it is. There's mine. Yeah, I tell yeah. you, I, don't really, I wouldn't know what to do without that woman. She's been my executive assistant now for five years. I'm telling you, she runs my life, bro. Like, hey, runs my life. Them. I, I got one. Right. She's amazing. You got, you seriously, you have to have someone that is able to do the things that you don't do well. And the minute thing, like, I didn't realize how, how much time I spent on, like, schedule and tedious stuff. And it's like, someone's got to take it over. I can't do all these little things because then I can't focus on the big things. And it's not that I, I have to focus on big things right. all the time, but it's those like I'll be doing something like something pulls me. That I'm like, ah, I don't need to be having a focus shift to this thing and then try to catch back up to mental focus over here. So it's like just having certain things bubbled and taken care of out of my bubble makes it easier. So good job. Good job, Carolyn. All right, dude, I'm going to dial this thing in. I, I got my. I got um, you don't realize how much revenue you lost. You don't. Oh, see, that's the delay. No, you're now, good. We're good, now, man. Now I just have, I'm grateful to have going. Definitely chat the podcast. Check out Anthony's. Check out ours. Yeah, are you delayed? Can you hear me? I don't know. Um, what's up? No, what's going on? Yeah, I, I can something. hear you. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's across the Atlantic or something. I don't know. Hey, you know what it is? The band. <laughs> Who knows, man? It's, it's, 
of us going through the screen, so it's just it's like bogging down the internet. So it's all weird. <laughs> Anyways, yes, you, you, the, the, in order to make more of them, you got to scale things definitely, up. Definitely. Those of you guys are here. Check out the Win Win Effect podcast. Um, go to at it's at Win Win Effect right on, on Instagram and check it out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yep. yeah, check it out there. Yeah, at Win Win Effect. Already? Uh, the Win Win Effect. I'm, I think she dropped it in here. Yeah, yeah. The so I'll just I'll pin her comment real quick. Yeah, she's right yeah, there. So it's there. Uh, and I, I am, I'm back now. Now I'm, now I'm back from Spinning Wheel of Death. It's weird. Super weird. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's, 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 what it is, is the, it's the vibration. It's the vibration and frequency that was just messing up the whole universe right now. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Two powerful people. Don't, this. Don't do this. It's not today. It is. Not today. <laughs> it's Got all it. good, man. All right, thanks man. for having me. Right. I appreciate it. But let's You too, let's bro. Kill it. Stay in touch. Kill it. All right, buddy. Always. Play your day. Always, definitely. See you. See you.